the unique and very powerful system inside the VU and VU11. It is an ecosystem. Ecosystem, it is a complex system that allowed you to distribute it, any objects and mostly, mostly better work with the ecosystem with the plant object inside the view that will correspond with environments. So the best way to understand it is just start working. The ecosystem will populating or placing this object in specific location. So let's first we'll create terrain. Okay, we have it right here terrain. This is quite a bit large so if we look on a scale you can see it's about one kilometer by one kilometer. Next we'll go open material editor and I'm going to add ecosystem. And as an ecosystem I'm going to add the tree. So you notice right here we have the visual browser of the plants. You can have a very large extensive collection and if you need it more you can always look on Cornucopia where you can find official Eon software plans or other plans that submitted by um, brokers or users. So it's got very extensive, you can see it's a large collection of the plants. So you can find almost any plant here. Okay, I'm going to disable right now, just see from collection I have it. And um, some plants will have a different type species and we'll look on those ones inside the plant editor a little bit. What I'm going to do is just select the maple tree for now. Okay, you can by click selecting add this way or you can also, um, okay, let me open, just drag and drop them as well. So you can add multiple. You can mix the ecosystem between the plants. The nice things about the plants, they will work with the wind and breeze and other things. You also can add rocks. You can add additional objects. You can turn them also now to the particles if you want effects specially. There are also things about ecosystem. You can create a multiple layer. So you not necessarily can create one. If I want it, I can create multiple ecosystems. And for example, let me go right here, add maple tree to this ecosystem. I'll go on above, I'll delete it these ecosystems and right here above level I'm going inside the bushes and I'm going to add a maybe crown bush to this. Very nice things about uh, ecosystem they can also interact and populate based on the gyro. So for example I go right here I'll go click populate and you notice I'm creating already 148 million polygons is creating by populating those trees. So I'll take my camera, move above, away, and overlook, and you can see how many trees populated. This is all unique trees, so they're not exactly the same. If we even come closer, you can see how different they all look. The same species, but they're using special formula inside the view to create this unique view. Okay, let's go back to here. By creating ecosystem, you can manipulate and manage distribution of this. So first up, we have a density for ecosystem where we can create very few of the plants. Actually, you know what? Let me select the layer we're working. So we'll go a little bit less. Right here, we have an 8,955 instance. We can create a less. We can increase create more. Okay, very heavy population. We can avoid overlapping instance. For example, when we create the city and I recommend you to look on those tutorials. We also can placement, force alignment. The very new options was added and it's very, um, I recommend to check our tutorials when we're using in 360 populations. Before the view can populate only on top, now it's will be under heel. It's kind of very flexible so you can look on these options and we have a specific tutorials to more look on that. Allowed stacking that was added previous but you can add over and over. For example if you build maybe green wall or a rock wall you can stacking the objects over. So this is additional options. You can sampling quality currently at zero. You can increase decrease and also offset from the surface 
it depends like when we do with the rocks you want to put it down rocks as well you can um absolute asset set this to specific value or adjusting with example a drumming to their function example we can have a meteor coming and this meteor come closing here you can set all these plants maybe flying away from object we can also effect slope for the population also effect variable density as example we can take and select any effect to this one populate and you can see the density will change base it on um okay let me maybe create something even better visible for this so we'll go right here let's go to the math noise spiral let's click ok populate and you can see how the spiral it start affecting so of course we can decreasing so we can preview a little bit more of the spiral effect like right here you can see from the top okay this is variable density we have a decay in it for an object for example if I'm going to and create object right here let's let's make it incredibly large and place right here like a dome okay we'll go to terrain now enable decay populate and you can see the plants will start kind of avoiding our object so they kind of start repelling from this okay next um, okay right here we have it also influence so we can populate below for an object if possible so we can disable that effect and distance this is more affecting when you work with 360 and we'll look on that okay next we have it scaling and rotation so where we can apply it how okay actually it will be right here this one okay sorry let's enable that one preview so the trees right here you can see how repulsing maybe a little bit closer okay work on that one now what, let me um clear this object okay next of course the influence of um distance the next scaling and you can see we can create a very large trees okay scaling or we're going smaller problem is when it goes smaller you have it more instance more instance you can start using right here it's billion polygon so it start warning kind of popping up tell me but again with a smaller you can create a large amount one thing to kind of nice to know if you have a large population and for example right here some areas camera does not taking anytime when you reach this problem you can switch to dynamic population dynamic population will render those only in a way where the camera see so it's start preserving some memories and we'll look on that option in the future next we have a maximum size variation so we can enable uh, plants is not change a little bit of variety they also different sizes we can modify here direction from surface vertically or perpendicular so we can go check this way on that case um, our plants will go with the surface of direction normals of the surface so you can see parallel this way or vertically all will just go directly up so it's again the more you work in overall we look more closer when we start working with the real projects kind of with the ecosystem so right now just kind of overlook on these um, options lean from out low density an example right here on an end it's called then it's again it's simulating natural coverage um, we have it also rotation currently rotating in axis if you need it you can set rotate on in one direction mostly when you work with particles you probably want to do this variable scaling as well as before we can go connecting you know to the node populate and you can see how our scaling is change larger on a darker and lighter smaller so we have this kind of interesting effect on populating okay we next we have it um, scale for this function size and variance filters you can double time click to preload it already or again same select edit and edit filter same way 
shrink at lower density for example right here with low density we can apply even more so that our right on the ends it's again this is all simulating natural look color overall this is affecting color of the ecosystem does not change original materials it's overlay color we can set the overall color of ecosystem for example red you can see right here okay, let's reset it we can also modify on low densities like right here where we modify size so it will be a little bit more go yellow or other ones as well we can apply different variable colors to areas based on a function so for example let's delete this one and connect here so in this case the population will affect based again on the functions that you supplied and influence of variable colors you can say how much the overlay it will affect the presence kind of important will work before with materials same things will apply to ecosystem so you can say on which level you want how them applied uh, most important probably slow branch depend on some plants you want them crawl on a side or cancel as well as orientation maybe for the north side or south side so this is tabs and next we have an animation animation on an ecosystem work a little bit differently because if we have it animated, pre-animated um, terrain, sometimes you might want to create a wind gas kind of going over. Or if you have it pre-animated objects, for example, we had it butterflies. I recommend you to check um, particle effects creating butterflies tutorial. We're using variable offset for pre-animated objects. So in this case, you can enable and set offset loop animation phasing so you can repeat it and add extra randomizations to those areas okay next we have it right here ecosystem let's look on the first tab general where we added you also notice we look on a particle motion you can enable the new added it's called fast population mode and this is actually quite a bit effective so if you enable you'll notice right here it's interactive so it's meaning it's not necessary actively but when you modify it, like for example, increase density, you can see how fast system will affecting. So if you work overall with the ecosystem, you can enable and work like with a scale and you can see it will actually work quite a bit fast, except right here, create teeny tiny, so it will create a billions of polygons. So it's take a little bit time. Let me cancel that one population. Okay. Okay. but overall if you increase you can see how fast it will select it because base it on the amount you're using okay an example right here density I can disable scanning let's disable it and you can see in interactive very fast mode I can preview quite a bit um, fast how they're affecting so I can say the influence reducing and with ecosystem it's very fast now populating this is new options work very good you also have an option on fast and publish interactive so it's mean instead for me pressing button it will do itself as well we have it options to accurately adjust okay below we have display options currently it's display a shaded billboard for the preview effect not for the render with full quality so it's help you to control some of the um, resources on your computer also you have a distribution where uh, you can add to the function random affinity with layer below and repulsion this is more work with the layer above so for example let me decrease right here effect as well pop up a little bit scaling so we can see better if i'm going to other layer above you notice I have affinity enable so let me enable fast population interactive for this and notice right now it's disabled because we kind of need to work um, repopulating for this option so I need to disable now populating is effective let's pop up my density okay as well 
scaling, pop up density. So right here around trees you can notice it start populating and this is affecting by my affinity with layers. So if I go increase more, the more of those bush will populating just around the trees like right here. And if I want repulsion, it will look more on the where it's located by the trees on the layer ecosystem below and creating by this. You can see how the interactivity can work with these options. And we have some tutorials I created, for example, um, creating fallen leaves under trees. So it's what we're using. We're using the trees and we're using leaves and we're creating them based how close it is to the plant. So again, this is all to create natural. The ecosystem is kind of powerful and will look more on the global versus local and other options. But overall, here's an overview on the ecosystem layer and some option of the tabs.